Hello Aries, how are you? If you're new, how welcome? My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. I want to remind you guys that my readings have no day today. are divinely guided. Everything has to be well. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that roles can be reversed between you and certain energies. As I said before, this is entirely general. So I run no day care. You guys should know that. And with this said, let's move forward with Aries reading today. So let's see. Later on, if you want to know how to win a free reading with me, make sure to stay to the end of the video as I will tell you guys everything. Um, okay. Okay, dope. So I do see here uh, somebody that's on and off with you, out, out of way, like right away is on and off with you. I do feel that like you do your own uh, personal readings. You got a deck or somebody that you trust a friend or so does it for you but i do see right here that this person and you tend to break up a lot or this person let's say you guys are not dating cuts communication cuts communication with you quite often like they they switch on you all the time and it's like oh it's over but then the next time or next week or so he or she texts and then you guys connect again hook up per perhaps as well i do feel like it's for the both of you and a way to perform. It's like you guys are magnetic, attracted to each other. It's like an attraction, irresistible. Uh, I do feel like you guys find each other or at least you towards them as they're your shelter or that you guys belong. It's like I can, cannot stop this because he or she is my, my home. And it's like you guys love each other in a way but can never make it work. Maybe because you want something more stable. Maybe he's not ready or she's not ready or the other way around. Either way, you know, everybody has their own way. I do see right here that I feel like it's that you both want different things. I feel maybe you want to um, be settled, stable, you know, marriage, perhaps just date to marry or, you know, settle down and make it official. And the other person wants to still like to party, to celebrate, to go to gatherings. Like it's like you guys are very different, wanting better two different things i do feel like either or you're watching this to see if the grass will be greener and the other side or with other people or you also want to know if you can make it work with this person i do feel that as i said before you made your own readings maybe somebody else does it for you da, 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 da. i feel like you are you have a lot of psychic abilities and you have a lot of gut feeling and i feel that you have a sixth sense and i feel that you know that it, the grass is not going to be greener with this person and I'm not going to say never because never is a strong word. And I do believe that people can actually change. But change has to be desired, right? And that change could come within weeks, months, or super many years. And we are not a, you know, a shelter. We are not supposed to sit and wait for whoever wants to come in. You know what I'm saying? We are, we have the right to move on and be happy as well, regardless of how our heart could feel at a certain moment. Now, moving from that, I do feel that you are literally in a crossroads here. You have a lot of choices and multiple decisions, multiple options. Turning points can come any way in any shape, form. I do feel like you are indecisive. But this person, you are like addicted to this person and they're addicted to you. Yet addictions, we know then they don't last forever and they don't always bring the best of us or they don't always bring us what we need, right? I do feel like you... You have been in denial about this person for a minute. I feel like, again, this on and off, you understand a lot of things, but you also feel like this could change. And I feel like, you know, this does not change. And I'm not going to say never will, but you know, it's going to take a long time. And I feel like you have been stuck in the same limbo place for a minute just because you're waiting for somebody to give you what you know they can't give you right away or what you want to make something permanent What what something when something is temporary you know what i'm saying here this holds back your healing this holds back your promotion this holds back moving forward i do feel like they're gonna text you again and they're going to have direct messages with you again and you haven't heard from them for a minute and this goes back to the same position you've been before and they're gonna promise you the world and all of that but something about this is is toxic they're gonna try to reconcile they're gonna say i miss you i miss your voice i miss your your kisses and they're gonna as i said before propose to you all this um love offer they're gonna offer you all these things all the things that they could do all the things that they will never do again and i do feel like they have some sort of regret 
but I do feel like it's not truthful. Uh, the things that they're promising you when they call you or text you, they they have good intentions, but in Spanish, in Puerto Rico, there's a saying that el infierno está lleno de buenas intenciones, which translates that hell is full of people with good intentions. You know what I'm saying? Like intention does not secure the action, does not secure or prevents any heartbreak if it's not done correctly. And I feel like your person or this person has a lot of words, a lot of things. They know what to say, how to say it, and they have a lot of good intentions, yet they have a very harsh time in fulfilling those intentions. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, you need to be super careful in how you want to move forward with this person. If you want to move forward in a different path, if you want better things to come, if you want a new energy, I feel like you need to make a decision. That's why you're on the crossroad because it's indecisive moments like this that makes life hard i do feel like you have a lot of feelings for them this is an ex-lovers you have memories you got past memories with them you have the past it's an old flame you got nostalgic memories and da 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 but at this point the toxic this is a toxic relationship babe i know i know i know you know this but you need to hear from somebody else that doesn't know you yes he or she is toxic you and them have a toxic relationship which is a codependent energy, um, obsessive energies. You guys fight or argue a lot. There's a lot of misunderstanding. There's triggers. There's lack of trust. And da 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 da. Why? Because this person is a ghoster. They tend to, like I said, come into your life, promising you all of this. You give them a chance, and then they ghost you again. And they ghost you. They disappear. There's there's a silence. They ignore you. You feel rejected. And then um, you move forward, find something new, and they come back. I feel like you need to cut them off, but I feel like this is something that you need to do. What this says right here, you need uh, an important confession and clarity. You need to ask him or ask her how, where do they see themselves with you in a year. You don't even have to tell them 10 years, a year. If they don't know how to answer you that, that is convincing, you know what to do, which is run from them. Literally, um, literally the, the confidence and the courage that you want from this person comes when they're drunk or when they're high. And I feel like if they need some sort of like thing to give to be open with you, this is something that may not work because, you know, when you're like under the influence of alcohol or any other influence, you are not yourself. Now, I do feel that like you have the potential to meet somebody new who is a commit, committed partner. This could be a boyfriend or a girlfriend, of course. But the person that you want, it's a player. He is very charming or she is very charming, but they have the manipulative energies. Definitely a karmic partner. And definitely this is a, it's a test to see how teachable are you. Now, this is a new energy here. I do feel like you have the possibility of falling in love again having affection, having happiness, having emotions. But this person, you will meet this person in either or Facebook or Inst or Instagram. And I feel like this person does not live in the same state if you happen to live in, in the U.S. If not, it's going to be in a different city or so. But there's definitely physical distance here. But there is a long-distance relationship popping in your energy. Somebody that literally gives you everything you want is definitely unexpected. Some of you may feel that this person is a catfish because it's like, oh, he or she's too attractive, they're too good. If you have this confusion, just ask for a fa uh, face call. If they say no, 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 no multiple times, then you know it could be a catfish. But it, I feel like <clears throat> for the most of you, it's not a catfish. It's just like you had had such bad time with lovers and love that, you know, you are doubtful of their intentions with you. Look how cute for the 4th of July, the dollar store. But anyways, I feel like this connection happens uh, surprisingly un unpredictable. It's like shocking. You're like, holy moly macaroni. But I do feel like it's easy with a phone, with a face call, you know? I do see that this person in you that's a long distance could be a magnetic attraction. It could work so fine. And this person could be a musician or they have passion for music. They could be a git git guitarist. They could or play the guitar as a hobby or as always say, as a career. Uh, they could be also a tattoo artist. I do see the grass is greener with him or her. I feel like it, the, definitely the grass is greener with this new energy. Uh, I do see right here um, that 
the past person will be jealous. Uh, they'll be mad that you are happy. They're going to make you feel guilty. They're going to be unhappy to see you move on. But the fact is like you definitely deserve better in the past if they are not willing to be the person for you knowing that you deserve better then you clearly need to make better choices for yourself that are going to go with your values and desires in life instead of waiting on somebody to choose you you know what i'm saying i do see right here that this past person could also get in trouble with the law because of uh drunk driving or having like you know pod in their car or something and i feel like if you continue with with this person around it could also get you in, in trouble with the law too so it's something to consider as well i do see that they you and them have unfinished business as well i feel like this is a lot of patterns here this is back and forth packages and it's because you don't want to lose this person as a friend but at this the fact is like you do have feelings for this person and they do have feelings for you and honestly being friends is not going to be an option to be on the, their terms i feel like you guys could never be friends because there's a lot of feelings and there's a lot of attraction especially when it's karmic partners it's very hard and the best thing for you is to move on from them if you keep them around you will always be tempted to come back around or to have them in your life so i do feel like the unfinished bus business need to finish i also see that they have a lot of issues uh or will have issues especially because of the law they're going to ask you for money they're not going to be able to pay you back so i will highly recommend you to think about if you want to continue to be around this person also there is cheating energies there's actually third party so they're not being exclusive with you either as i said before um i feel like there's going to be the truth coming out somebody may text you or let's say reach out to you through any platform and letting you know that hey you know this guy or this girl that this is from the ex person and they're going to say hey, Hey, we have been meeting or have been seeing each other for this time or that time stay away from him or her or they may even approach you in a friendly way perhaps so at this point at this point this person is shady this deception is a snake uh, i do feel like you wouldn't know but they had a girlfriend or boyfriend and they actually made it official with them but they want to keep you around um i feel that this person makes you tempted into making bad decisions with alcohol beverages with you know addictions of some sort uh, i do see that you're better off with a secret new admirer that is going to pop into your life and i feel you're better off and this person may ask you out on a date and you may say but if it's long distance you guys will make plans to either or you go visit them or they will visit you this could be around the summer or around like let's say august down but this person makes you feel so happy. You're no longer going to feel anxious. You're not going to be fearful. It's different patterns, different dif different directions. I do feel that like you are in the crossroad of your life, but I feel like you're better off taking those risks into the new. But of course, surrender to the universe. Let them, you know, show you the way. But overall, I feel like the new is better than the past for you. Okay. Of course, you make your decisions but yes i want to give you the the zodiac signs of the newer energies because if you have an ex that you can actually say yeah this makes sense for the ex um again you know who this person may be and i don't want to waste our energies on that i want to give you energies of the new person okie dokes so we definitely have a libra energy right away we got a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We, the tower confirms that it could be a Scorpio energy as well as Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got a lot of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energies and it confirmed it with the Leo energy with the strength card. So those are the possible uh, zodiac signs that could be uh, connected either or in their chart or the actual moon or sun of the person that is the newer energy coming your way, okay? now before i go i want to give you um oh my god i want to give you the initials of the newer energy okay this could be the first last middle or even a nickname as well as if i see a word or a name i will be more than happy to give it to you okay babe let's see so we got a lot of letters here give me a minute let me just flip them so i don't miss any one so we got Ellis and Leo, Diaz and Diego, or or Dog, PS and Peter, Asian and Hamburger, JS and Jason, S and Sam, OS and Oscar, KS and KFC, US and Umbrella, MS and Michelle, AS and Apple, and R and R as a Rose, Rainbow. Now, I see somebody's initials to be JS. 
first of all. I also see somebody's initial to be MS. Other person's initials could be KU. Other person's initials could be AR. Another person's initials is, is uh, PD. And another person's initials is JH, okay? So, I see somebody's name being Ramon, R-A-M-O-N, okay? Very, uh, it's going to be for a specific person in our group. Also, I see that the, the place or the country is Rome, R-O-M-E. I see the name Sam, S-A-M. I see the name Paul, P-A-U-L. I forgot an Alice and Leo, by the way. And I also see the name Laura being somebody else's name. L-A-U-R-A, -A, Laura. So, this is what I see for you beautiful Aries. Now, before I get the heck out, I'm going to give you some um, angel numbers with angel messages. So we got 1717. This is self-reliance. Time has come to rely on your knowledge, your wisdom, and your ambition. You have an important soul mission and life purpose. Leaning on your inner strength will allow more of your path to unfold ahead. 444. Protection. This is your time to take confidence in all that you pursue. The divine universe is working through you and protecting you. Time has come to allow all the doors of opportunity to welcome you with open arms. 666. Reflection. When you allow time for reflection, you allow yourself to see where inner shifts are needed. It is time for you to look at your beliefs and ask, is this serving me or is this time for me to release this? Reflect, refocus, and readjust. And at the bottom, we have for you the final one, which is 999. This is release. Endings are new beginnings in disguise. And endings symbolizes the closure of one door and the opening of another. The whisper is reminding you to release and allow. It is in the release where the magic happens. <coughs> so guys, thank you so much. This is the end of your reading. Please, if you want to win a free reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel because every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, I host a free reading giveaway. Right now I'm hosting it. If you want to know more details, there is a video up already that explains exactly what I'm giving away. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, I will definitely follow you back. I also have a TikTok that I do small readings as well as I have a small group on Facebook. I have an upcoming project on my Patreon for reading classes or tarot reading classes as well as, excuse me, I also have a website for personal readings. If you want to get a personal reading with me, you want to go to the description box below and you want to go to the link and it will take you to my website so you can book with me. I want to give you a heads up that I am close all the way to June 8th. So every availability that I have is for June. If I get booked, it's going to be after June, of course. Um, also, I want to let you know that I have a second channel for vlogs. If you want to if you want to follow me there, make sure to go to the description box below. You'll find it. Um, I also um, am an Amazon affiliate. So you want to check out my Amazon storefront, please double check. It. It's going to be in the description box below once again. And to finalize, I want to remind you guys that I do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways whatsoever. And I never message anybody on any of my platform offering my tarot reading services as the only way you can book with me is through my website, which is the one in the description box below is the only website I have for personal reading. So with this said, guys, thank you so very much for the love and support and have an amazing day.